Okay, so now we're going to have a quick look at the optimizer and uh, convert your requirements um, and design test cases from the requirements. Now this is all about song streaming and you'll see here it's a you know, medium complexity requirement uh, and if we look at the optimizer what you'll see here is if we look at say all possible paths you are looking at 71 possible different types of journeys or test cases that you could create through this process. Okay. You could come up with something called all nodes, which is pretty much the minimum test you can get away with, in which case there's five of them. Or a good one is all decisions, which means you've actually been through all decisions, which is a very it's called strong coverage. So if we take a look at those, and what we can do is we can store those, and I've already done it, basic one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and if we just come in here and check what our coverage is, you'll see we have got 100% of the edges decisions covered, which means these have been covered like so. Now once we have our test cases, what we can do then is say, well, let's export those out. I'm going to import them out to ALM as test cases. Let's find our folder. And I've created one called Song Streaming. Click on OK. Um, and we'll see. It has a little bit of data attached to it and everything. And let's just let that go. And that's going to export that out. And there we go, we've exported uh, seven of them. I'm going to just pop back over to ALM and do a refresh. And you'll see there we have our test cases uh, with our design steps, like so. All very nice. Now, just one final thing, let's just think about test data. So what I'm going to do now is open up a uh, different uh, flow, just from the repository. It's called risk checking. Now this one, um, has got a lot more associated with test data. So if we go in and look in here, you'll see we've got some test data components, yes or no. We might be making some test data. We might be finding some test data in the back-end databases. Uh, that's all standard uh, Agile Designer and, uh, functionality. But what you'll see here is this is our set of test data uh, to satisfy these test cases. There's uh, nine test cases. And these are the credit cards we need to use. These are our risk IDs, etc. Now, what will happen now when we do our export? Let's go and look at our test cases. Again, we're going to do an export to ALM. And we're just going to pop it into the risk folder. And what you'll see now is we've got some data, attached data files, a test data to, a test data to description as well. And we can just click on OK, and that will then pass that data directly up into ALM. So let's take a look at it. And what you'll see now is we've got our test cases like so. And for this one, which I've just resol asked to resolve the description in, what you'll see is we've got the test cases. We've actually created a description with um, little uh, tildes in there. And then we've resolved the description directly into the uh, description here. So you can actually read the data directly from the test case itself. And in addition to that, we'll put an attachment in. And that attachment, which can be used for automation, will contain the test data that you need um, to run your automation framework.